What are you grateful for? Nothing. You deserve <laughs> nothing. You oh are a barnacle God. on life's boat. And this <laughs> podcast is going to go just great. I'm bringing a little Scrooge into Thanksgiving after Thanksgiving. <laughs> that's right. That's right. We're, we're doing this right during Thanksgiving and we want to keep that spirit going. I'm BJ Flagg. And I'm Rich G, and this is episode 219, Gratitude Should Be a Year-Long Habit. There you go. Today's episode is all about the feeling of gratitude. This is our second holiday season in the pandemic, and we want to step up our connections with our employees, our clients, and ourselves. Let's get the conversation going. Yeah, this is our fourth year, our fourth holiday season doing the podcast. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm grateful for you, Richard. Well, That's I'm grateful for you, BJ, because if you weren't around, I would forget to do this podcast. You mean like this morning when I said, oh, are we doing it this morning? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, folks, we do it every week. Do you think the girl would remember? <laughs> <laughs> but thank goodness we keep each other very accountable, don't you think? So our first Thing we really got to think about is gratitude for your employees. Am I right, Rich? I mean, yeah. you, you got to start there. Think of everything that we've been through in these last two years. You expressing gratitude for all that they've done will be so welcomed this season. Yeah. Go old school and think of that one thing that stood out for you. A personal note of gratitude is the best. They appreciate the gesture and they do remember it. Oh, yeah. I mean, during the holiday season, you know, be the elf, leave little treats and small surprises. The spirit of gratitude can be such a boost to morale as the holiday season. You know, it can be hard for some of your kindest fellow workers. Yeah. And also ask them who they are grateful for at the company. This will give you insights on some unsung heroes. So people who went over and above to make a difference at your company. It's a really good thing to know. Oh, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. It, it's kind of funny. Uh, uh, one of the most special things I ever received from an old boss was I got a phone call at eight o'clock at night on a weekday. And my wife answered and she goes, Rich, it's your boss. I went, oh, God. <gasps> and I get on. I go, Dan, what's going on? Is everything okay? He goes, no, 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 everything's fine. He goes, I was just going through my paperwork and, and I just recognized, you know, our department couldn't be the department we are because of you. You are my right hand person. And I just want to let you know that uh, oh. you are, you bring so much special to, the to everything that we do every day and it just means wow. a lot to me i wanted you to know about that he goes have a great night and i'll see you tomorrow and he oh. the phone oh. <laughs> how much did that cost <laughs> yeah zero nothing and you skirted a bullet <laughs> yeah well the best part was do you how do you think i came in the next day i was oh. full of gas i was ready to go oh yeah oh yeah and, you know, and just a small, maybe minute or two little call made a huge difference. Absolutely. That's so great. That is so great. So the second action you should take is gratitude for your clients. You think this will come easy, but we tend to forget. We get so caught up in the reactive nature of our business. We forget to have gratitude for our clients. Yeah. And, you know, communication is key. Targeted and customized communication is the best. This is where you can really kind of hone your skills and do something that's going to really touch them. Yeah. You need to hug your customer, reach <laughs> out to them and make them feel special and that you're grateful for their business. Definitely. You know, it could be like we said before, send a note via mail, handwritten to thank them for their purchase or their business. Huge, goes a long way. Yeah, or call them up and check in on how it's working out. I know of a client that calls up 
after about a year just to see how they're doing. Once he provides a service for them, calls up to see how everything's going. Yeah. And, you know, sure, you know, taking him out to lunch might not be impossible, um, but the gesture is there. And to be able to say, hey, I, I'd love to have lunch with you and express our, our appreciation. It's, it's just a small touch, a small ability to kind of just get out of the work environment and see each other and, you know, enjoy, enjoy the time. Yeah. One of my clients hosts a virtual wine tasting for yes. many of her most recent clients. And it goes over so well, like 18 or 20 of them show up. Oh my God. Because it doesn't cost that much. Yeah. And it, it's, it's well worth it because they're so appreciative. They have so much fun and they remember her. I remember you mentioning um, another person who um, hosts a holiday party and all it's as a donation to a charity and yeah. everybody gets involved in it. People are so excited to be able to be part of a very incredible donation to a charity really makes a difference. Absolutely. And finally, another of my clients hands out C's candies and homemade honey to all of his clients. Oh, you could do that. Simple, simple stuff. I know. And it, and that's the funnest part is just to be able to just make that little touch, you know, Um, let's talk about gratitude for your network. Oh my goodness. You know, creating a moment to reach out to your network might take a little bit of effort, especially if you have a business, um, you've had been in business for quite a while. Each holiday season, we do something a little unique. We pick a vendor that has always been there for us that year and for our clients. Last year, we surprised a photographer that was exemplary. I mean, she went totally over, over and above on every project. And we made her a basket of her favorite things for her. You know, everything, you know, we all thought of things that are perfect for her. And we give her the basket and we had a special book in there that we thought would be just perfect. And guess who did the photography of the author? Yep. Mm -hmm. She had done it. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we thought that was a good one. And it catches people off guard. They are not expecting it. You know, no. a lot of people like just send out popcorn and tins and stuff like that. And yeah. you could tell there's no thought involved in it. That, right. That was powerful. And that means a lot to people. Yeah. Try visiting their places of business or taking the person out for coffee. Bring treats to their company when their team has been so helpful. And they're not expecting it. They're expecting to give a gift to you. Yeah. So when you show up and you give them things, it totally catches them off guard. So if there's any reason to do it, it's that. <laughs> um, and also one thing I love to do is just leave a little note on their desk when they're not looking and they can find it later. It is totally cool because those are the people who you want to go into 2022 with. Make it memorable. And our fourth action is something we talked all about everyone else. We now have gratitude for you, okay? We tend to forget that we need to be so grateful for our present circumstances. Yeah. That, that we're healthy, we have a roof over our heads, we're not hungry, and we have many people who love and depend on us. You know, just step back and take a little bit of time each day to acknowledge our life, you know, what we're experiencing right now and what we've accomplished and what life has in store for us. You deserve that. Take that minute. Yeah. And if you don't, nobody really cares about you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Yes. The Scrooge comes back. The Scrooge. He's back. <laughs> We've taken um, taken the opportunity to share two different books from you. For you, what's your what's the first book? Well, the first one is a local Jack Mitchell who wrote "Hug Your Customers," one of my favorite books, and one that I recommend to many of my clients. It's called "Hug Your Customers: The Proven Way to Personalize Sales and Achieve Astounding Results." Jack Mitchell owns a, a group of stores here in the Connecticut, New York area. And he's just, it's, I've met him. He, it's just an incredible speaker, a wonderful book for anybody. And I, what I love about it, having met him personally, is the book is him. 
Yeah. Like, it actually sounds like him. It's so incredible. The other one is leading with gratitude. Eight leadership practices for extraordinary business results by Adrian um, Kostick. What I love about this, it provides both managers and executives easy ways to add more gratitude in everyday work environments to boost morale, efficiency, and profitability. It's not, you know, I don't, I wouldn't say that this is like, you know, um, a softy soft book. It's really trying to blend into a existing business environment and really get, um, some amazing ideas. Yeah, it introduces eight simple ways managers can show employees their value. And they supplement their insights and advice with stories how most successful people successfully incorporated gratitude into their leadership style. So it's, yeah. a, it's a great book for all the business owners out there. Yeah, it's a goodie. Um, well, that's it. Our sponsor um, today is Rich G, High Performance Coach. Does your business need a little extra holiday gravy to get your more customers? <laughs> I had to put it in there. I haven't had enough gravy. Um, make more money and pass by your competition. If you are revving up and preparing for a powerful 2022, you need to put Rich G on speed dial to take advantage of all of the insight and techniques he has to offer. Go to richg.com to chat with Rich today. And our other sponsor is BJ Flag. Do you want to be that company? You know, that company everyone wants to work for, to do business with? You need a strong brand and even stronger messaging of your corporate values and culture. You need to call BJ Flagg and her team at New Renew Brand Marketing. New Renew is a full service agency who can work on strategy, messaging, branding to implementation. Websites, PR, social media, email marketing, they are the group for you. That's N-U-R-E-N-U.com. And thank you to our producer and king of creative, Richard Scalzo, who we are most grateful for, bringing you the best small business podcast every Tuesday. Have an unbelievable week and catch you later. Bye.